friends. I'm the Little Mermaid and I wanted to talk to you about feelings. All feelings are okay and you should never be ashamed of how you feel, no matter how you feel. Sometimes we feel sad. Sometimes we feel really angry. Sometimes we feel so excited and so happy. Sometimes we feel anxious, like kind of nervous and kind of scared. Um, sometimes we get really mad and we have tantrums. And I have a friend, she has ice powers. And when she loses her temper, her ice powers can, they used to, they used to hurt people. And because she didn't know really how to control her powers and she didn't know how to deal with her feelings. So the more she would avoid her feelings, the more her powers would get out of control. So she made this mean snow monster. Do you ever feel like you have a snow monster inside of you? Like just so angry? We all feel like that sometimes. Well, there's a way to help you with that. See, I think that probably she would do better if she, and she wouldn't have to get so angry if she was able to talk to people about how she was feeling and also, if she was able to recognize the clues that her body was giving her when she was angry. So there's usually some signals that, that you get. And, and you want to notice these before you get a tantrum. Because once you get out of control, you can get put in time out. Or you can get in a lot of trouble at home or at school or wherever. Um, and that, that makes you feel really bad. And then that makes you sad. And we want to avoid that. So what you want to do is pay attention to the clues. It could be that you feel like your mouth starts to get dry. Or your heart starts to race a little faster. Or your, your chest starts to tighten up. Um, your heart may start to feel like it's squeezing really tight. Right? Um, try to... Try to notice, like, think about something that made you mad and where did you feel it inside your body? Where did you feel it? Like, did your hands feel like they were, like, in fists like this? And did you feel like you want to scream and yell? Well, that's okay. You can do that. See, just not to people. You can't use your words or your actions to hurt other people. If you're feeling like that, you might want to go to your room and punch the pillow as hard as you can. Um, you might want to make a plan with somebody like your parents and tell them that you want to make a plan that when you start to feel angry, you're going to go talk to them first. And you're starting to, you're going to start to tell them what, that you're noticing those clues. Like you're, you're starting to get a dry mouth. You're starting to get um, tightness in your throat or your chest is tightening up or whatever it is happening, you could try drawing pictures or reading a book or you might have to walk away from the situation and go talk to somebody about it later when you're calm. Um, there's a lot of different kinds of things to do. Like Rapunzel, she, she loved to draw. I mean, she still loves to draw. Um, we all love to sing and dance and that really makes us happy, makes us feel better. We love to have adventures, and you can have adventures in your mind. You can make up stories. You can play with your stuffed animals. You can play with your toys and make up a story about how you're feeling, and then you could share it with everybody or share it with a special person and and show them how you're feeling, someone you trust. So I would love it if you would do that and then tell me about it and later the next time that you, um, you see me on here you could write to me on my email and tell me all about it okay I hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll talk to you next time okay bye love you